this lodge cast iron griddle just not that good out of the gate why because i think the surface is too rough all right that's pretty damn nice oh man i just can't stop doing that hey there all right so let's turn this lodge cast iron griddle into something way better than it is my goal is to hold it up in front of the camera and then you're going to be able to see your reflection in it what we're going to do is we're going to grind down the surface of this and turn it into a smooth 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 finish kind of like the fine x video that i uh or the fine x in the video that i did previously on this topic and uh, it's going to greatly improve this i think something for you to do all right what do you need for this let me show you you're going to need one of these angle grinders this cheap one this is from uh, harbor freight but i'll link to uh to different ones in the description below and you're going to need one of these discs they call this a grinding and polishing flap disc and it's basically these little layered on top of each other uh, layers of um, sandpaper and uh, what do I have here this is an 80 grit I find that um, 80 grit takes the surface of the pan down real nice so you need that once we get all the the really rough stuff off of there we're going to use a little orbital random orbital sander with a finer grit like a 120 let's plug in and let's start tearing uh, the, the the top of this griddle off All right, we do need eye protection for this though. Ideally. Let's go put that right there. And let's let's take the surface of this off. All right, you see what I'm doing there? Look at that. It's already a million times better just on that one spot. I'm gonna do the entire surface of it like that. Get all the little imperfections out of it, make it as smooth as we can with this 80 grit. And then we're gonna go finer grit and really take even more, you know, take it down to an even more polished level. Now this is the right or wrong way to do this. You really can't mess it up. Pan's thick enough, you're not gonna like wear a hole through it or anything like that. But yeah, look at that. And then you gotta come up a little bit on the edges. I usually like to do the top too. And the reason I'm doing this griddle is it's super easy to get in there because you don't have to worry about that lip. You can really get, um, you can really get good access to it with this thing. Uh, versus like if you have to kind of tilt to get in there with with an actual pan but yeah well, here we go all right so I literally did that in about five minutes I'm gonna hit a couple more of these spots over here where it's still where it's still a little bit rough Again, I'm just gonna take the 80 grit as far as I can take it in terms of getting a polish on this. But you're already starting to see something in there. Gotta warm my hands a little bit. It's friggin' cold out here. I'll be right back. It's about as far as I'm gonna take this thing with this 80 grit. Look at that, huh? See a camera in there somewhere? Yeah. Next up, orbital sander. All right, here we go. Stepping it up to a 120 grit on here. And I actually discovered that I have some 220 grit as well. So I think that's gonna be what we end on. Now, you can take this as far as you want to go. 
you can turn this into an actual mirror. That 120 has taken out a little bit more of the imperfections caused by the uh, by the 80 grit. And I still see a lot of like sort of feather marks, if you want to call them, in, in there. I could continue to do this until they're all gone. They're kind of gone right in this section right here. But I'm going to do a little bit more of the 120 and then I'm going to go up to 220 and then it'll take, you know, take on even more of a shine at that point. All right, so I think I'm going to leave it at that on the 120. 120, now for 220. This is a 220. In case you're not familiar with grits of sandpaper, the lower the number, the rougher the grit is. So we started with that 80 grit sanding disc on the angle grinder. Then we went to a 120. And now we're gonna finish off on a 220. At least I'm gonna finish off on a 220. Where you finish off, well, that's up to you. All right. That's even more of a shine, I would say. I'm gonna do that a little bit more and then I'm gonna call it a day on this. It's not intended to be perfect, at least I don't aim to make it perfect. Just to show you that it is still a lodge pan, but a way better one. Now this of course is going to need to be seasoned, because that is just exposed metal now. This will rust like in a heartbeat before, uh, if you don't get some kind of oil on there. But it rusting is no big deal, because you would just take a sander to it again and uh, remove that rust. All right, that's pretty damn nice. One final thing I'm gonna try is I got this really fine grit. I don't know what it is. 500, 400. 400. Let's see if we can get any more shine out of it. I'm just gonna go right on top with this. All right, well, I am super happy with that. That is nice and smooth. Still got a lot of character. Uh, I probably pressed down a little bit too hard with the 80 grit on the angle grinder. Created some gouges that are pretty hard to take out. So try not to use too much pressure with that. But there you go. Look at that. Okay, well, that was another successful project. Here it is. Mirror, mirror. Look at that. That's my camera. We took a lowly lodge pan and made it awesome. And speaking of awesome, this hat that I'm wearing is by Hilary Tamar. She is an awesome person. She makes hats, she makes face masks, not this one. But she, uh, she does all that by hand. Super talented, super nice person. HilaryTamar.com, I'll drop a link in the description below. I'll drop a link to these lodge pans, all the tools and sanding stuff I used to make this awesome thing. This one's for my girlfriend and it's a fun project. I like all your comments. I love reading them. More minimalist, more tiny house content on the way. But I figured I'd throw in this uh, cooking one here with, uh, oh man, I just can't stop doing that, can I? But uh, this is how you do it, all right? Just don't do it when it's like three degrees out like it is right now. Hit the like button, hit subscribe if this has been helpful to you. Check out my channel for other content that relates to tiny houses, minimalist living, outdoorsy type stuff. Check it out, Tiny Industrial, saying goodbye for now. Be well, stay safe, thank you.